Hey guys, stick around. Today I'm going to show you how I made this coat rack. I originally got this idea off of Garage Woodworks, so check out the description below to see the original video here where I got this idea. So the first thing I did here was take this 1x3 poplar and cut it to length for each of the vertical pieces that will be making up the coat rack. Next thing I did here was take everything to the router table and put a chamfer on it so this would match the uh, decor of the newly installed ceiling I just put in my house. I'm using a fence and a stop block here to make sure I get all these holes lined up correctly for the pivot. This is a jig I created to make sure that the action on this whole thing works properly. Now that I know where the hole needs to go for the pivoting pieces, I'm aligning the drill press to get an exact fit and moving the stop block up for repeatability so I can get each one of these in the exact same location. Next thing for me to do is to do a dry fit on these to make sure everything lined up properly, fit well. Next thing for me to do is to cut the back to length. And then to put the bevel that I got from the jig on the actual backer that will go and mount to the wall. So the link looks good on here and go ahead and see how this whole thing fits up. See if it operates as well as my jig did. What I really want here is to make sure all these hit the workbench at the exact same time. And then to sand everything smooth, get everything ready for painting. On this backer here, I decided that I was gonna actually put in three mounts to hit three different studs. I know there's not going to be that much load on it, but I wanted to see if I could get all three of these in line. It's kind of a challenge for myself. Uh, it's not necessary. If you've got two studs, that'd be more than enough. So I'm using a temporary jig to put a keyhole in the back of the board to mount to the wall. Uh, this method seemed a little rudimentary, but got pretty good results. Next, I'm just cutting this quarter inch aluminum pivot rod to length. You can pick one of these up at your local home hardware store. Here I'm laying out where I'll be drilling holes to attach each one of the vertical pieces that's stationary to the back plate. So the Forstner bit is going to give me a flat shoulder to put the wood screw on that will allow the stationary part to be mounted to the back end. I gave myself a little bit of play here to make sure that everything got mounted properly, tightly, and give myself a little wiggle room to dial everything in. I 
just used some coat hangers here to hang each of these on as they were drying with this cabinet paint. Figured they'd be getting a lot of wear and tear and this would be some good paint that I had laying around that could take the abuse. So I'm stacking everything up one more time, had everything in order, uh, just to make sure that there weren't any discrepancies or any issues. I just used some cardboard here to add the proper amount of space and to make sure everything pivoted properly without too much restriction. Now I'm using a through hole punch on each of these holes just to make sure that these screws sit exactly where I want them in the center of each of these holes. Probably overkill, but hey. I initially put on some hot glue on the end of these, but that ended up not working out. After about a week or so, it fell off. Now it's time to mount everything up. Overall, I'm really pleased with this coat rack. It worked out really well. It's very simple. And uh, my wife was really happy because she finally had some place to hang everything as they came in the house. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out the rest of my videos on the channel. And I'll catch you on the next video. Later.